Good afternoon to you, Fox 26 meteorologist for Misha Shade here. Time to track the tropics, and here is the good news. We are rolling through this 2025 hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin, and we haven't had any major hits for the Houston area from a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane. However, I do want to kind of go back and talk about what we were dealing with back across the area about 20 years ago. If we can get someone in the master control to switch this to links one, that would be great. And we could get to the proper graphics, but I do want to go back and tell you what happened about 20 years ago for the Gulf Coast. And of course, tomorrow morning would be the kickoff or the basically the anniversary of Hurricane Rita, and that was about 20 years ago. So, of course, in the Houston area, it didn't seem super threatening at first, but then, of course, it looked like Rita was going to come right towards the Houston area as a major hurricane. So it certainly turned into a situation where a lot of Houstonians panicked, hit the roads at the same time, didn't really follow the proper evacuation timeline, and it was just mass panic and a huge parking lot out there on the roads in the Houston area. Folks trying to get out of Dodge because Rita at one point did strengthen to a category five hurricane. You can see the track for Hurricane Rita here. It did make landfall early in the morning on September 24th, 2005, 20 years ago as a category three. So it did weaken a bit similar to Katrina before making landfall, but this is where the panic started when it was in the middle of the Gulf and it just intensified rapidly to a cat five. And some of those tracks from the National Hurricane Center actually had it moving over into the Houston area. So thank goodness we don't have anything like that out there right now. You can see at one point Hurricane Rita had maximum sustained winds around 180 miles per hour. So it was a whopper of a hurricane Katrina and Rita in a very short period of time. So you can see where it actually made landfall. That was in West Johnson's Bayou in southwestern Louisiana, very close to the Louisiana Texas state line. But overall, it was a lot less of an impact for Houston than it could have been because Rita actually made a jog to the east at the last minute, but you can see how scary and dangerous Rita looked out over the Gulf. This was on September 21st, 2005, September 22nd. Rita right here, a very impressive looking satellite picture. It was a massive, scary looking cat four. So this is the National Hurricane Center cone of uncertainty that had Rita moving right over the Houston area as a major hurricane. So this is when a lot of panic occurred about 54 hours before landfall, 175 mile per hour winds pointed right at Houston. And that's where a lot of people jumped on the roads to get out of the way. So we actually had more people getting killed from the evacuation than from the actual landfall. So just a reminder, if you have specific evacuation instructions or a timeline, try to follow that so that everybody can get out safely. And thank goodness we don't have anything like that to worry about for today. We don't have any hurricanes in the Gulf or any tropical systems. We do have Gabrielle, still a category four hurricane in the Atlantic, but it is moving away from Bermuda and away from the US. And the next two names on the list would be Umberto and Imelda, but right now not looking to be a huge threat for Houston at this point. So Hurricane Watch has been issued for the Azores due to Hurricane Gabrielle heading that way. Gabrielle is still a major hurricane, but expect it to weaken as it gets towards the Azores, but likely still a cat one. We are also closely tracking two other tropical waves out there and they could potentially have some impacts on parts of the US East Coast. But here is Gabrielle, still a major hurricane out in the Atlantic. 130 mile per hour winds, there's Bermuda, so it's rolling away from Bermuda. Here are those Azores Islands, and I think by late Thursday, early Friday, Gabrielle is weaker, Cat 1, but rolling right over those islands. And then this weekend, maybe bringing some wind and rain to parts of Spain. So it's traveling all over, but the good news is that it is moving away from the U.S. We 
we certainly still have a ways to go in our hurricane season and we do have the potential for more of these systems to develop but at least for now we don't have anything heading towards the U.S. as far as a hurricane or tropical storm. Before I go though, I do want to update you on two additional tropical waves. We've got one getting closer to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and we've got another one right on its heels. So we've got double tropical trouble here and these waves have about a medium to high chance to develop. So this one has been designated Invest 94L and this one Invest 93L and both of these could impact parts of Puerto Rico, the Bahamas, maybe the Florida East Coast, parts of the Carolinas. So we'll have to wait and see. But most of the models have them staying away from the Gulf and kind of taking a turn before they would get close to us. So the good news is that things are looking good across the Houston area, but of course we still got to get all the way through the end of hurricane season, which will be all the way till the end of November. So we'll keep you updated day by day and thank goodness we don't have anything like Hurricane Rita out there right now.